Hey, how's it going, everyone? Today I'm going to talk about um, my experience with the Prescolis Coding Bootcamp. I recently graduated from the React Developer course uh, like two weeks ago, and I got a job like a week after graduating. I'm just going to talk about like my overall experience, the course itself, the teaching. Um, Prescolis is a tech-focused nonprofit that offers free coding boot camps and other um, training and tech mostly geared towards uh, minorities and women, but there's you don't have to be either of those to be to join the join a course. Um, if you're looking to do a course from Prescolis, I would recommend doing something that's sponsored by like Tech Systems or Amazon, because they usually hire you after you finish the course. I mean, Tech Systems hasn't contacted me since graduating, but that's what they're supposed to do anyway. I think they usually contact like within a month or something. Um, the curriculum I went through was uh, the MERN stack. There's the modules. Um, so like a normal day would be a le like you start and it'd be like a lecture and then it's, and then you do like either an assignment during class, like they tell you to do an assignment then you do it on your own. Or you do like a code along, or you do like homework. So normally it's like, but sometimes you have like you do coursework or, or like you follow the lecture and then you also have homework like you're doing an assignment and then you have homework at the same time like you have a homework due that's Friday but do Friday but you also have assignments during the course if that makes sense um it's like a nine to five kind of if that's the course is like a nine to four I mean so um so we first start off with a git I guess the introduction and then git github and then we go to HTML, CSS. Like each lesson right here is like a day. It takes about a day long. I mean, sometimes we'll be able to get through two, but it's mostly just like each each one's a day long. And then at the at the end of each thing, it, a module, it's, you do like a a test, like a four question test, like a four responses and one response is correct. If that makes <laughs> tests, and then you do a project, like HTML, CSS project. Um, I mean, by the test, I mean, like, it's, you have, like, like, a, a normal, um, I forget what it's called, but, like, a, like, a question that you have four responses you can pick from, is what I mean. Um, if you're going to do a coding boot camp in general, I would highly re recommend studying on your own for at least three to six months. Um, before doing this, I originally did another coding boot camp through Vet Tech which paid for it, which is like a military benefit. And I dropped out after like a month because I wasn't prepared at all. And then I just self-studied and then found this one. And I made it all the way through. <clears throat> so um, so the curriculum that they taught was the MERN stack, but they also went over for this, the for Direct Developer one. I mean, they usually change it, so it might be different if you do one from the from them. But they did, I did, uh, it's like focus on React. And the MERN and the MERN stack, and they also went over uh, Angular and Vue for like a day or two. It was just basically just like an introduction. It wasn't. It didn't really go that deep into it. Um, so yeah. So first, this is the uh, introduction. You get GitHub and then HTML, CSS. Like for like for like this kind of a day, you just be like lecture, and then we do two assignments during class. And if you don't finish them during class, you do them for homework. That's pretty much how it went, or a lecture, and then we, sometimes we do like a group lab where we like code along with them. Um, so here we go, that's another lecture, bootstrap, and then assignments. And at the end of it, it's the project and the test. And then we go to JavaScript. Also, if, yeah, if you, if you come in here unprepared, oh, anyway, you yeah, I mean, just back up for a second um if just for, even for signing up for the course you're gonna have to do like multiple there's like multiple things you have to go through like you put in your resume and then you do a um a no more interview and then after the normal interview you have to take like a, a a test on coding it's like super super basic so if you know anything it's you can pass it you have to take at least like two tests if i remember correctly it's like two or three tests and you gotta do like two interviews, like a personality interview and, and then just like a general overall interview. 
um, just to get in, and then you have to do like after you get accepted, you have to do a like a uh, coding prep course, and which is like super basic. It, it's not enough at all to get like if you just if that's your all your experience, you're gonna fail like pretty much. We're gonna have a very very hard time. So um, here's and like this like it, something like this you're not you need to be you have to study on your own like beforehand like a lot like i would recommend at least completing your free code free code camp like bare minimum and more than that afterwards if you're gonna do something like this because like on this day when they went over functions there's so much to go over and there's just no way you're gonna learn everything you need to learn about functions and or not just functions but in general because you just go over like one time and then you do a project and then you move on so quickly so Keep going. Just event more JavaScript. Overall, in my opinion, the teaching, like if I had to rate rate the teaching, like the teachers, I would, I would probably say it's like a seven out of ten. It's either hit or miss. Like our main teacher wasn't. Sometimes a student asks a question and they wouldn't even know how to respond, but our assistant was able to like answer everything. So it's like seven out of ten in the teaching. But I feel like you're not gonna feel like you're not gonna. You can only learn so much from a lecture or from them teaching it. You just have to be studying on your own, which is how I learned. Like, it's good enough. Like, if I had to say, like, the knowledge, the information itself is, like, an 8 or a 9. And the teaching was a 7 out of 10. So, so there's JavaScript, more JavaScript, and then a test at the end. More JavaScript. So, it's, like, multiple weeks of JavaScript. I probably learned more about JavaScript than React, to be honest. I mean, this is like a React course. We have like group labs, a bunch of labs in class. Um, TypeScript for like a day and then a quiz. And then Node.js. Like, oh, I, I learned a decent amount. I want to say the teaching was, just the teaching wasn't really, I don't know, it wasn't that good in my opinion. But I feel like that's how like all coding boot camps like they're just I don't know I'm, I learned better just by learning it studying it myself the node right here node and express and then they go over mongo db after mongo db uh, react for a few weeks honestly in my opinion react was like even though it's like the main thing I feel like I learned the least honestly there was no Hey, there's this, these, we're, these are assignments, but I don't know. It just felt like I learned. I had to like really go out of my way to study this on my own for whatever reason. Like I learned from doing the to-do list, but then there's like, all right, we do it in like a, a React app or whatever. I don't know. I just felt like I didn't learn from it specifically. Like I just learned from building projects, in my opinion. And then we had, went over re, uh, Redux at the end. They did a React project. And then Angular for like two days or a day, and then view for a day or two, and then we did a full Mern project for the end. Then we present it at the very end. Um, so yeah, this that was like the full Mern. I guess the curriculum is the full Mern thing. <laughs> Mern stack. Um, and instructors and teaching seven out of ten. I mean, don't really have a describe it it was mostly it was a mixture of uh it was mostly all um project focused a mixture of lectures hands-on projects i don't remember if we did any, i don't think we did any group things like a group project oh, oh yeah also like throughout the week it's like one day it's professional development day which is like they go over everything that's like resumes interviews um like a pitch how to pitch yourself and stuff like that and like um, budgeting, so for most of it, so I have like the 15 weeks, it was like most of, like probably for like 10 of those, there's a professional development day on Tuesday, which is like a break overall from coding, just to catch up on homework or whatever. Um, the teaching, I'm trying to think of like the, how the teaching was. I don't know, it just hit, yeah, I already said it, but it was like, it was okay, it's like good enough. 
and then but the information throughout this is like all up to date and what jobs are using nowadays on um, the projects and workload the thing that's kind of annoying is like you're doing classwork and assignments but then you also have a homework that's also due at the same time so you're working on like two things sometimes at once I mean that's kind of annoying and you're going through things so quickly it's like but that's which is how all boot coding boot camps are but like if you really want to get the most of it you need to study at least in my opinion three to six six months before this because you're just gonna be going through things so quickly and you're not gonna be able to really understand what's how to do things because uh, our course started with like 30 people and maybe like 20 people finished or 19 or something like that so was it like a third of the class dropped out um, in terms of uh, career support and uh, job placement I mean I got a job like a week after graduating so which is not normal it's like a web I got like a web developer slash like web, web, WordPress job so I mean that's not normal I feel like for most people but if you do something that's sponsored by like Amazon or Texas they're supposed to help you get a job when you when you finish so also they give you like a LinkedIn group thing a LinkedIn group uh, you can join that like they post like jobs and stuff there and the community and networking I mean I guess you can just make friends with the, your people from your uh, work class and the people that you get, you meet on uh, LinkedIn from the alumni, but that's about. I mean, I'm thinking that's about it. Um, costs and return on investment. I give it a ten out of ten simply due to the fact that it was free and I got a job like a week after. Um, the location and format. I mean, it was all online. I think that's how most of the classes are. Um, due to COVID, I don't know if it's in person. If there's courses in person, but for me, it was all online. Um, my personal experience, I rate it a 10 out of 10. I mean, I did learn a lot, even if the teaching wasn't the best and it was free and I got a job like a week after. So I thought it was completely worth it. I mean, if, even if it was like really long, it felt just, I don't know, for whatever reason, this felt 16 weeks, it was like 15 weeks, but we had like a little break. So it was like four months or yeah, which felt really long to get through. So pros and cons, I would say. Um, it's free and I did learn a lot even if I have to go out of my way to study everything um, cons I mean it's a coding boot camp it's stressful it's a lot you could, even when I prepared for um, for six months around six months it's still a lot to get through I mean I never really felt like I was falling behind but still you don't want to fall behind because you're just going to get dropped um and learning everything so quickly so I'm trying to think of con cons teaching is not it's okay it's enough um oh yeah and some of the tests like this it'll just straight up be a wrong answer like even if they like this wouldn't have the correct answer so it's like they give you a question that's a wrong answer no matter what so it's like that's kind of weird but um trying to think what else I mean that's about it test teaching's not maybe not the best but I mean I don't know I feel like a lot of coding boot camps are kind of the same way where they hire um, recent graduates but not that these people were recent graduates but if, if you know what I'm saying um I would recommend uh, Prescolis because um, I did learn a lot Mern stack I can build Mern stack projects now. Um, I would recommend self studying. I mean, I'm probably repeating myself, but self studying beforehand. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I mean, that's about it. Nothing comes to mind. I mean, I could, I mean, tech systems are supposed to be helping everyone get a job after graduating, so. Yeah, I mean, I, already, I got one a week after. I mean, I'm kind of repeating myself at this point, but yeah. I'll give it like a 10 out of 10 is my overall experience just from getting the job. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.